Hello everyone, my name is Ruini. Today I came with the new mode because today I am going to start with a grade 7 uh, geography book, uh, government English medium book in Sri Lanka. So the first lesson is the earth planet we live. So uh, the earth we live is considered as a marvelous creation in nature. Now we all know about that. But there were many definitions about the shape of earth in the past. But finally, scientists, they proved uh, the shape of Earth is spherical. It is a spherical object. Okay. Uh, so first, we have to identify, we should identify what is rotation and revolution. Okay. The first question is rotation. Rotation, it takes 24 hours. That means one day. Okay. Rotation means... It, the, uh, the earth moves on its own axis is called rotation okay now you can see in this video clip what is rotation putala and okay you go through this video okay now you can see what is revolutions as well revolution means it take 365 days that means one year for revolution the journey around the sun you call revolution okay and I would like to tell you what is a leap year. Leap year, usually we get a leap year every after four years. That means, I think you all know about this because adding one day. Okay, what is that? Usually we can get some somehow uh, for after four uh, years, we will get uh, we will get uh, some one day that means added one day for february month usually we have 28 days for february month right but in some years after four years uh, it can be 29 days for february month so february so it calls for it called a leap year okay and okay now we all know about these things and uh, I would like to go for what is longitudes and latitudes. Okay, now we all know. Okay, why while you go no go through this video clip, you can see what is longitude and latitudes. Longitudes mean those are the imaginary lines because scientists and uh, scientists they they uh, drawn these imaginary lines on the earth. Those are imaginary. Those are not real lines. So then only we can identify the we can take the correct definitions on earth so that's what scientists they used to draw these imaginary lines on earth. those are called longitudes and latitudes okay so rotation it takes 24 hours that means one day the earth rotating according to clockwise Revolution. It takes 365 days, that means one year. The journey around the sun we call revolution. The lines drawn vertically from North Pole to South Pole are called longitudes. And the red color line which drawn across the Greenwich City in England is Greenwich Prime Meridian. Red color line which drawn horizontally on the middle of the globe is named zero latitude or the equator. And the lines drawn horizontally from the west to east around the geographical globe are called latitudes. Those are cross lines and another name is parallel. There are seven continents in the world, 29 is covered by land, those consist of continents and islands. A continent is a large uninterruptedly spreading land mass surrounded by water. There are seven continents in the world, North America. And the yellow colored one, South America. Antarctica. It's 
filled with ice layers. Australia is different from other continents because it's one country and one continent because other continents consist many countries but Australia is one continent and one country. Africa Europe Asia, the place we are living in Asia. There are five oceans in the world. 71 of the surface of the earth is covered by water. It consists of oceans and seas. The salt water masses located among the continents are called oceans. Pacific Ocean The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean covering more than 30% of the earth. Atlantic Ocean Atlantic Ocean is the second largest and largest ocean in the world. Indian Ocean Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean surrounding a densely populated region. It contains additional 20 of water on Earth's surface. Southern Ocean In the Southern Ocean is the newest ocean recognized by the International Hydrographic Organization. It is the fourth largest ocean at 20,327,000 square kilometers. Arctic Ocean Arctic Ocean is the world's smallest and shallowest ocean of five oceans. Further to this, this is the coldest and least salty ocean. I think you all got a good knowledge about this lesson, the Earth planet where we live, the first lesson. And uh, I hope to come with your next lesson that is the identity of Sri Lanka, the location of Sri Lanka. And uh, there are many things that we have to learn. So I hope to come with you another geography lesson. Thank you so much.